Okay, just figured out that I'm going to head to a place called Indian Bread Rocks, but it's going to take me over the Arizona line. Woo! So it's about three hours and 45 minutes away. Um, I may stop at a Walmart and get cat litter because, uh, yeah, that box needs changing. <laughs> it's gross. So, got to change the kitty litter. We may be stopping at Walmart to take care of that. Um, yeah, so that's what I think the plan is today. And I will pick up the camera when I have something that I can show you that would be interesting. Before I pull out of here, and yes, I am driving in my jammies. The heat in my van does not work. I have my heated socks on. These babies stay on because it keeps me toasty while I'm driving. And I also get the benefit of cat and lap. So I'm going to show you these beautiful snow-covered mountains in front of me. These mountains are beyond white sands. Uh, yeah, and I painted them last year a couple of different times. But I haven't seen them snow-capped. And I was just about to pull out. And I was like, whoa! Because they were all socked in by atmosphere when I woke up this morning. So... Look at them! Aren't they beautiful? Hello, mountains! Oh, whoops. <laughs> dirty windshield. It's actually not as dirty as it's been in the past. Ah, oh, just wow. I mean, the Oregon Mountains are on the left there, but they're all socked in by atmosphere, so you can't see them. The clouds. Oh! How, how cool, how beautiful. What a difference just a little bit of time makes. And I always love that saying of Mark Twain's, you know, he would say, if you don't like the weather in New England, wait a minute, it'll change, right? Or, or something like that, right? It's a paraphrase, I have, you know. Very cool, I am loving this. I'm gonna get out and maybe take a couple pictures and uh, I'll, they'll be at the end of this video. hours into my drive this is where I am I had to stop I just was yawning already and although I may get a second win it's only it's not even two o'clock in the afternoon yet um you know if I get a second wind I might get as far as Arizona but according to my speed that I drive uh, it looks like two more hours before the border I don't think that's gonna happen today so I found this spot um, I had seen it and looked at it as a possible <clears throat> I found this spot when I was looking for the other spot so, um, yeah, I'm just accepting that this is where I am right now. Um, driving mesmerizes me, um, you know, and I'm not, I drew, I only allot myself a certain amount of coffee for a reason. Um, and I've kind of gone over that because I was you know, with a friend and we were going out to breakfast and stuff like that. And I was drinking way more coffee than I normally do. And <clears throat> because it's easy for me to do when it's one of the things that's like on the menu, because I do enjoy it. And I drink water all the time. So, because that's the only thing I have to drink in here. And so, you know, there's that, but I don't drink coffee when I'm driving because... I crash from caffeine. Um, 
when I have too much of it, right? Like what I have in the morning is exactly what my body needs, like to, to get my brain moving at the right pace. Um, it acts like a counteractive stimulant to my ADD. Um, but I limit it, right? Because otherwise, it's like, then it's like I might as well be taking speed, and that's crazy. As far as this person is concerned. So, um, because this body is small and is, yeah, um, very sensitive to it. But, see? Ugh. And I did have to work this morning. You know, I had stuff I needed to do online before I could leave. I stopped a bunch of times to take pictures, you know, things like that. I stopped for gas in Las Cruces. So that took me probably a good 45 minutes out of my way. Because while I was stopped to get gas, I got something to eat. So, yeah. And uh, I went for the cheapest gas. And then it turned out it wasn't cheap gas. Well, it wasn't expensive, but it wasn't the... It, and it was close to the cheapest, but it wasn't the cheapest. Uh, but I got to report the correct price on Gas Buddy. Yay! Um, and so that felt good. <laughs> and then I went back to the highway. Yeah, it took me quite a ways off the highway. I didn't realize how far off the highway it was going to take me. Otherwise, I probably would have chosen a different gas station just for the sheer fact that I think it may have cost me a gallon of gas. <laughs> just to do the back and forth with all the stoplights, right? You know, I mean, probably not a whole gallon, but close. So, you know, I'm like, oi. But it was two ninety nine a gallon, and then I get a little savings on top of that using my Gas Buddy card. And I think I saved thirty four cents. Not a huge amount, but something is better than nothing. And there have definitely been times where I've saved over a dollar, so it can definitely be worth it. Um, there have been deals where it's like twenty six cents off the gallon, and so yeah, that's. That's totally worth it. Um, anyway, I'm going to just lay here and rest after my drive. And then I'll decide whether or not I... Maybe I'll pick a place that's not too far down the road. Like, maybe another hour down the road. Um, I think two hours is a stretch. But I might be able to do another hour if I rest before the sun starts setting because I don't like to be pulling into spots after sunset. So I didn't unpack anything. I just moved a couple things. So getting back on the road will only take a minute. Um, yeah. So I'm going to shut this off and get a nap. 15 minutes. And I think that was enough. I feel really well rested so I think I am going to go on at least to the next spot which might just be an hour not quite the first one I picked out because I think that was a stretch for me to begin with um, I do not drive the speed limit as it sucks a lot of gas to go 75 miles an hour so I tend to go about 65 so my drives take a little longer than what Google will say, will say. Um, yeah. So that's why I kind of knew that I wouldn't make it, but that's all right. I'm going to put this down and I think I'm going to, Oh, uh, um, put on some like regular clothes. <laughs> Um, to finish the drive out in. Well, this was a pretty spot. 
from iOverlander that I thought suited well for a nap. I don't know that I would want to overnight here because it's right on the road, but I feel like there's other spots off this road that I could have found if I went looking for them. Um, but I was too tired and really just needed a place to nap. So uh, that's what I decided to do. And I feel very refreshed. And I think I see snow falling on those mountains over there. What? Or rain. But it looks snow cloudy, not rain cloudy. Wow. Well, we did have some raindrops here while I was falling asleep. So, onward. Nugget is impatient. She wants to go outside and play. She would get outside and immediately decide the wind is too strong. But she will have to wait. Nagita, are you going to say hello? What? Mm -hmm. No, you're ignoring me now? Okay. She's mad at me. It's okay. She'll get over it. Nugget is very happy we stopped. She's like, thanks, Mom. This is our view. <sighs> I know, pretty awesome. I'm excited. And even if somebody comes in, they're going to come in way over there. Or way over there. And the description of this spot did not disappoint. It was like, you're surrounded by mountains. It's totally worth the road noise. Which, by the way, with the wind is minimal to none. Because the wind way out roars the road noise. <laughs> but I can imagine there's a train track on the other side of the highway. And I can see the trucks from here. And I am certain that on a windless day, you would really hear the road noise. Um, but I gotta tell you, to be surrounded by mountains like this... I don't know, a teeny bit of road noise is like a tiny price to pay. And this is beautiful. Wow, and they're so pink. Hello. They are so pink. Right, Bean? I know, pink mountains. Ah. Uh. Wow. Well, I am going to move some stuff around because we're here early enough. And I know I'm not going to leave until, you know, later in the morning. I don't <clears throat> have to get out early. So I can enjoy my mornings. And I try to get a little bit of when I'm on the road like this. It's a lot of editing work on the fly. Uh not as much painting, although as the sun sets, this could get really interesting. So I think it's certainly going to worth be worth taking photographs of. Um, yeah, maybe for painting later. Although I am finding I really prefer to work from my sketches. I really am liking how alive the paintings look um, if they've started from a sketch. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I know. You really don't want to sit here listening to me go, wow, <laughs> over and over again. <gasps> ah! Very cool. I'm trying, I'm doing my best not to repeat the places that I have parked uh, in the past coming through these areas to give myself as much variety as possible. 
And we'll see. It's so wild. I mean, because it looks like it really drops off after the mountains. Which I know I was climbing to get up here. I could feel it, you know, with the gas pedal pressure. I was climbing elevation. So, yeah. All right. I'm putting this down. I got to pee. And I don't know. Just like sort of be where I am in this minute. Because this is a really neat spot. And I'm going to stare at it for a while. <laughs> Just look at this amazing <sighs> skyline. Oh. Hello. And I love the way the grasses glow when the sky is like this. Oh my gosh. Right? You've got the combination of the sky being all grayed out by clouds with the sun rising over here to illuminate. Isn't it gorgeous? Ah! And then, look at these mountains. I'm zooming in. I just took a whole bunch of photographs. If you hang out to the end, you'll see them. How beautiful though, right? What? Nugget has decided the window is open. I'm closing it. <laughs> I am not playing that game this morning. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. We are not playing tag outside. That's what it is when she gets off leash. It's playing tag. She stops. She looks. She waits for me to get really, really close. And then she runs off. And I can hear her going, nah, 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 nah. You can't catch me. <laughs> Seriously. Wow. Just, I know this camera is not picking up what my eyes are seeing right now. And that's what's killing me. Like, because once I get on the road, shooting that is not going to be an option. Unless there's a pull-off closer, which I'll, I'm, I am going to look for. However, the light's going to change. So we'll see if it hangs out long enough for me to catch this incredible sky. Oh, those clouds are totally moving way too fast for me to catch them. Okay. No. I'm not even going to try. I'm not even going to try. <sighs> okay. On the road I go, um, yeah, I think, well, I'm just going to look for a Walmart because I have to get kitty litter and stuff. So, well, I can, I think I can only afford the kitty litter right now, but it's absolutely necessary because that box is, I can, I can taste it in the air. That's not a good sign. Not a good sign at all. All right. I know, and she's patient with me and changing it, which I'm grateful for. Thank you, my bean. I know. I'll do it today. <sighs> Just soaking it all in. I don't want to just rush off of this beautiful, beautiful spot that I got to be in to last night. I mean, you saw. Just gorgeous. I mean, if I didn't shoot video, I, the images will be at the end of this video. That's where I put all my photographs, guys. So if you want to see the photographs, Gotta hang out till the end of the video.
Wow. All right, all right, all right, enough. Just, oh my gosh. I pulled out and this is what I saw to the west. This was sunset last night. Oh, wow. So, <clears throat> it's early. It's way, too, it's middle of the night. It's not early. It's middle of the night. It's like 2.30 in the morning. 3, something like that. I'm exhausted. I went to sleep early. But, you know, like, not that early. That was the 8... 30. This five hour thing is killing me. But it's like I get five hours and then I'm awake. We'll see. Sometimes I can get myself back to sleep for a little bit. Like an hour and a half or so. But we'll see. I don't know. My girl. She's so cute. Yes, she is. Oh, so, I don't know. I'm not making coffee or anything yet. And my hope is that I will fall back to sleep. I'll be tired enough to do that. Anyway. Alright. So, I am here in Quartzite. I made it yesterday. I didn't pick up the camera because... Well, I was saying a load of new friends or an old friends, 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 <clears throat> new and sort of new. So one of the women I met online on TikTok, I am sorry oh, for yawning in your face. Um, excuse me for yawning in your face, I should say. I'm doing my best not to use that S word unless, you know, like, I'm sorry for someone's loss. Otherwise, I, I want to apologize for something. This is my, I've been on myself about this for a bunch of years now, and I remind others of it when I'm in their presence and I hear them sorry themselves. Because as women, we say sorry too much. Like, usually, sorry is like a flinch. Think of it that way. Sorry is a flinch. So, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Right? It's a flinch. There's, and, and it's fear-based. It's not, um, like, I realize there are other words that can be used in place of that that would actually describe the situation better. Right? So, I know. There's those of you out there who are like, oh my god, you're being too pedantic about this, but maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Maybe, you, you know, we use words I remember a therapist being like it's just words. And I, I, this, I liked this therapist a lot too, but this was the one thing where I was like, no, words are power and, and have power. Um, sometimes, you know, I can, I can see where the words are coming from and choose whether or not to respect those words. Right? Or I can leave them behind. 
when I am using those words. I am convincing myself of things while using them to a certain extent. You know, I do my best. I'm, I'm getting better at... Um, not being self abusive with my language, right? It's one thing we can laugh at ourselves and make fun of ourselves, like in a jovial even healing way, right? <clears throat> and then there's times where and oftentimes I have caught myself when I am using negative language toward myself. And they're phrases that other people said to me. And I'm giving them power by using them on myself. Yeah. So I I would never say they are just words. <sighs> now suddenly I'm thinking about German. Because German has amazing words in it. Like, I can't think of one. And I don't speak German. I just can sing in it sometimes. <laughs> um, I've sung the language. I know some words because I have family members who speak and neighbors who spoke and, or, and speak German. Um. The German language has words that are like, first of all, ridiculously long. So, God help me if I ever had to try to spell. Ha! <laughs> so, stop right there. Um, but they have, in German, there are words that like, You know, I laugh because people are like, when you hear English translate other languages, right? And in the other language, it's one word. But in English, it takes like 20 words to describe the one word because we don't have a word for whatever it is, right? And like, but in German, there's there's words that just describe a mood that is like... I, I wish, I wish I could know one to share with you. I just find it amazing. Anyway, I know this probably is not making it into a video. I'm just rambling. Well, thank you so much for joining me today on this rambling road vlog. And here are the photographs I promised. Those are from Holloman Lake. These are from that amazing, majestic spot where I got to park for the night. It's just amazing. All of the clouds and the weather that I got to experience while I was in this spot. Just over a short 12-hour period. You know, I, wow. Just, oh. Truly amazing, this glorious sunset. Oh. If I painted this and you hadn't seen the images, you would not believe it. Look at these amazing clouds. If you'd like to contribute to keep me moving forward to beautiful spots like this, all of the links are below. You can become a patron on Patreon. You can contribute through PayPal. You can buy a painting. There's so many ways. 
And here I made it to Quartzsite and look at this amazing sunset. Beautiful new friends and family. Take care everyone and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.